Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. In this video, I would like to talk about Best Linger versus Core XY 3D Printers. Let's scratch to this topic. Before we get into this video, I'm not saying that I'm like a professional 3D printer or that I know very much about 3D printers. I just like to play with 3D printers, model, and then just print things on it and do maintenance here and there. I feel like I can share some of my experience with people that are just getting into 3D printing and which kind of 3D printers is fit for them. Let's compare and contrast Core XY versus Best Slinger. So let's talk about best linger first. Best linger is like this and the 3v3 over here. The bed moves back and forth in a Y motion. And the nozzle head, which is this one up here, move left and right, which is the X axis. And it can move up and down, which is the Z axis. But on a core XY, like this cable max right here, it still has a bed, but the bed doesn't move back and forth. The bed moves up and down, which is the Z axis. And then the print head moves in the core XY motion. It can move left and right, back and forth. So that is the main difference between a best linger and a core XY 3D printer. Let's look at the advantage of a core XY 3D printer first. On a core XY, it's typically faster than a best linger. It moves faster, it prints faster, and all of the above. It has better accuracy and a Core XY is more of a compact size compared to a Bestlinger. Why? Because Bestlinger, the bed has to move back and forth and that takes lots and lots of spaces. On a Core XY, it moves up and down so it doesn't take that much space on your desk. So what are like the cons of a Core XY? Well, it's maintenance because Core XY, the print head is driven by belt so if like a belt broke you gotta replace the whole thing you gotta route it through this motor go over this bearing go through the back down into the motor and all of the crazy stuff right so that's the downside of a core xy and you gotta lubricate the rods a lot well you gotta lubricate the rods on a best linger as well to make it run smoother and the cost a core xy 3d printer costs more than a best linger while a core xy can print faster because of the X1 motion, it has the limitation on the Z axis that moves up and down that might potentially cause into the performance and the speed altogether. Okay, so now let's go into talking about a best slinger, the advantages of best slinger. A best slinger is simple, it's affordable, and the maintenance is a lot easier than on a Core XY. What are the disadvantages of a best slinger? Well, a best slinger prints slower, it requires more space, and you can't really print all of the materials on a bed slinger. It is more prone to vibration because the bed has to move back and forth, which results in more ringing than a Core XY 3D printer. Well now, we talk about the pros and cons of both sides of the 3D printers. Okay, so why is a Core XY faster than a bed slinger when they're just basically 3D printers and stuff like that? I'll give you an example here. Okay, so imagine this is the build plate. So let's say your nozzle head is right here and you want to move over here, right? Well, the motion is this bed swings back and forth like this and then the nozzle head moves left and right and up and down but that doesn't really matter, it moves left and right. So if you are at this point right here, you want to go to this point, your nozzle head has to move that way. Your nozzle head has to move this way, then the bed has to swing forward, moving this direction, like that. So if you want to go from this point to this point, your nozzle head on a bed slinger has to move here, and then the bed has to swing over here in order for you to go to here to here and if you think about it that is actually quite longer okay this is core xy side same thing you want to go from here to this point well that's the opposite but it's the, exactly the same thing you want to go from this point to this one well on a core xy the nozzle head can move in an x and y motion so how does it work well the bed is stable it does not move anywhere and now your core xy your nozzle head just go like that your nozzle head just go diagonally straight to it where in this situation your 3d printer has to move two motions one motion two motion so that takes a lot longer so that's why cracks by 3d printer is prone to be faster 3d printers than a best slinger and that's why it's actually a lot more accurate and a little bit better than a best slinger 3d printer well now you have a question well i'm getting into 3d printing which one is right for me? This one has this, this one has that. Which one should I buy? I'll give you my opinion and answer after this part. But here's things to consider when you are purchasing your first 3D printer. So first of all, if you have a lower budget for buying a 3D printer, let's say 100 to like 300-ish, that's your budget, go for a best slinger. And by the way, I will have some 
3D printers down in the description down below. So those are the ones that I actually recommend and haven't used them. So if you want to, check the description down below. And if you don't plan to use a wide range of filaments, you're mainly just gonna print PLA, PTG, just easier materials to print on the FDM 3D printer, then go with the best linger. Let's say you have a higher budget or like a medium range budget around 500 to 600. Well, then you have more options. You can get a huge side print bed on the best linger, or you can get a Core XY 3D printer in around that range, but the build volume might be a little bit smaller. So now let's say you have a thousand dollar plus budget for buying 3D printers. You can get any 3D printers you want, but that goes into Core XY territories like the K1 Max here which is a great printer, check the description. Like the K1 Max, the Bamboo Lab, the Q1 Pro, Flash Forge, and other Core XY 3D printers. So here's my take on this. If you are just getting started with 3D printing and you don't plan to expand to other types of filament like ABS, ASA, or even carbon fiber stuff, go with a best linger. It's cheaper, it's easier to use, it's more friendlier to use. You will get so much experience from using a best linger with a lower budget. But if you are like, oh, okay, I'm planning to you make 3D printing my hobby and make it into a bigger hobby, and I also plan to use ABS materials, ASA, other higher temperature printing materials, then go with a Core XY 3D printer that has an enclosure on it. Well, some of you might say that, well, you can actually get an enclosure for a best linger. Well, yeah, you can, but it takes more space because the bed has to swing back and forth and you need a really huge enclosure and that costs extra money. I would rather just spend a good chunk amount of money from the factory, get a really good 3D printer like this and then just work with it from that point on. Don't have to do any other aftermarket shopping. Well yeah, my opinion and my experience from using these 3D printers and from 3D printing a while now, I recommend you get a Core XY 3D printer with an enclosure. Why? Because with that, you basically can do almost anything with a FDM 3D printer with an enclosure. You can print all types of filament. You might not be able to print carbon fiber if you have a brass nozzle, but that is a very cheap, easy modification to do on your 3D printers. You can just grab a hardened steel nozzle on Amazon or any shopping online store that you want to for like about 6 or $7 which is quite cheap than buying like a $200 enclosure. <laughs> Quarx Buy just opened up so much possibility for 3D printing. For higher temperature filaments, it gives you better results. It takes less space. Even though it's bigger, it takes less space because there's no best swinging back and forth. So you just place it there and that is the amount of space that it's gonna take. So all in all, if I were to get a first 3D printer and I have a budget of allowing me to buy a Core XY 3D printer over a best linger, I would go for XY 3D printers all the time. Because it just opened up to so much possibility you can do with a Core XY enclosure 3D printers. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments down below. And if you still have questions, put it in the comments down below. I will respond to you within 24 hours, maybe. But yeah, that is it with this video. And as always, keep on 3D printing.